Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and today we have a new event for Idle Heroes, which will look a little confusing to you straight away. It's a fishing style event, which might seem weird, but the rewards are actually pretty nice. A lot of you are probably wondering, is it worth using gems or profit orbs this event, and how on earth do you get the top rewards? I'm going to be breaking all of that down for you, and that's right, a load of free-to-play players this week are going to be getting half of a core of Transcendence totally for free, just by using gems. Crazy. And there's going to be some of you that don't get anything. And that's going to be the big talking point of today. So let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do, let me remind you about Patreon. It's a way you can go ahead and support the content I make here financially and get yourself account reviews and other rewards in return through our Discord. Join us on Tuesdays if you're interested in account reviews. You can find all the information you need on our Discord about that. And if you're interested in Patreon, you can find a link up there in the top corner of the screen. Shout out goes to Crypt Carito, John D. Test, and Jason Tram, our three new backers this week. So thank you to you guys and don't forget to join us on a Tuesday for your chance for an account review. Anyway, folks, let's go ahead and check out this week's event for Idle Heroes. So this week we have a Fantasy Factory event and Profit Orb event, so we're getting five sweet lollipops and Profit Orbs every day for logging in. Now, this is a unique event for the Fantasy Factory because actually it doesn't matter how well you do. I'm going to start by jumping straight into the special bonuses and let you in on how this all works. Basically, we can use bait to go and fish. And depending on the fish you get, you will get yourself certain rewards because the fish can be cashed in in this particular shop here. If you go ahead and cash in a clownfish, you can get any of these items at random. If you cash in this other fish, what is it, like a swordfish or something, you can go ahead and get yourself Celestial Island materials and Stellar Shards and Crystals of Transcendence. This is actually really, really good. If you cash in a shark, you're going to go ahead and get yourself any of the stuff you see here. And this includes soul symbols, which is fantastic. If you cash in yourself a whale, you're going to get yourself maybe a 10 star or a 9 star or star spawn cores or even a chance for some cores of Transcendence. So that's great as well. There's Master's Toolbox isn't that as well? And if you get a Leviathan, which is like the super big whale, you can get yourself contract starry gems. So all the rewards from these are pretty good. Now, the reason I'm drawing your attention to this and these fish in general is because actually if you get Leviathans and they're the big, big fish, you also get bonus rewards as well as those contract starry gems. If you catch just one, you can get artifacts. If you catch two, there's a chance to get half of a core of origin. If you go ahead and get to three, you can even grab yourself some sublimation here. And four, it continues on. You can see it's just the usual stuff where you're getting opportunities to get sublimation or cores, artifacts, all the crazy stuff. And the further you go, the better the rewards get. However, you're probably wondering how we get this bait. And what's normal for an event like this, where it's a fantasy factory and profit orb event, is it normally requires you to do honey stars and profit orbs to amount together to get these rewards. However, that's not the case this week. If we go look at the cool events, you'll see, okay, last week's stuff is carrying on over, so the Soul Awakening session is coming to an end. We've got the Jungle Fantasy, make sure you go and cash this in. And the Summer Melody is completely broken, so hopefully the devs fix this, because if you spent money, for some reason the whole thing's glitched out. Please fix this, DH Games. And then the value packages, you can see here, guys, very easily are absolutely one way you can grab the bait. As well, you're getting gems, you're getting profit orbs, you're getting sweet lollipops, you can use starry gems for these as well. But basically, $100 is 25 bait. Is this bait worth it? Well, let's see if there's other ways we can grab it first. In the Fantasy Factory, can we pick it up? No, it's just your usual fantasy factory where we go ahead and put in our hexes to clear certain tiles, and then we go ahead and exchange all the honey stars we pick up, and probably focus on getting aurora stars and stuff down the middle, just to go and get a load of aurora stars for future months, so you can then cash that in for further progress when an event specifically says we need to spend honey stars and aurora stars, because that is normally a thing during a profit orb event. Just go back and look at the Mecha Raid or Valentine's Day this year to get an idea of how that stuff works. However, the only other way to get bait outside of buying it is actually from profit orbs. By using 10 profit orbs, you can get one point, except there's a jump up between 60 and 80, which only gets you one. It would have been nice if they gave us two bait at 80, but they didn't. So you get seven for a full complete. And then Heroic Miracle is giving you four if you fully do Heroic Miracle. The 
other way that you can go ahead and get this is by spending gems to go ahead and upgrade your fishing rod. And that will give you any of the random prizes you see at the bottom, as well as one bait. So each of these upgrades cost you 500 gems and there's 40 upgrades in total. So that's 20,000 gems in total. And that might sound like a lot, especially considering anniversary is coming up and that's probably gonna need us to use gems as well. Although anniversary isn't for a month. And as well, guys, this is really good value because you're getting any of the random rewards you see here. So it's already fantastic because there's star spawn cores in here, there's master's toolboxes, there's relics, everything you could pull here, except for maybe the super wishing coins is definitely worth it. And then on top of that, every single bait you throw out is going to catch you a fish here. And then that's going to turn into even more rewards, which makes that 500 gems even more worth it. So I think it's the best gem investment we've had on one of these big events in quite some time. So I definitely think if you've got the gems to spare, it's worth it. Now, if you go ahead and go fishing, I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these just to demonstrate. You're going to get yourself a bait and then you can go in and use that bait here in the Dolphin Bay. So we'll get presented with a chart here, and the more things you've upgraded on your fishing rod, the actual bigger chance that darker area is. And if you get the arrow in the darker area, you've got a chance of picking yourself good fish. Now, clownfish are the worst ones you can pick up, but if you're lucky, you'll get leviathans. And it's totally random. You might get leviathans in your first two hooks, or you might have to do all 79 in an area to get that final leviathan. So there are going to be some some people who spend 20,000 gems get themselves 40 attempts, make that 44 with Heroic Miracle, and they're going to get two Leviathans straight away. You'll have people who use all 44 baits in the Dolphin Bay and get no Leviathans. It's just pure RNG. What I do recommend, though, is using your bait after you've gone and upgraded all of these items here, because actually, if you improve an item, it increases the size of the fish you catch and actually makes it much more easy to get rarer fish because it expands the darker area. And if you land in the darker area, you get something good. And also, it decreases the point of speed, which makes it even more easy. So if you guys are landing that arrow in that darker area, you're going to increase your odds of getting a Leviathan, and that's where the big rewards are at. However, it is capped on the number of Leviathans you have. So if you want to get more of them, you need to do all 79 in the bay, and then you unlock the shipwreck area, then you unlock the ancient tower, and then the coconut grove, and then finally you get to the icy cliff, where it's just random fishing galore at that point. So perhaps that's of interest to you guys, perhaps it's not. Obviously, you've got to be a super whale to go ahead and push further, but you do get 100 extra bait if you do get that far. That said, though, is it worth it? Probably not. Now, you will notice that my fish had a size to it, and there's actually a big chart here where you can go ahead and compete with other people to see who's got the biggest fish. The person who gets the biggest fish is going to get themselves the Fishing Enthusiast Avatar, which is very nice. And if you're in the top 100, you even get yourself the King of Fishing Avatar. And these avatars, of course, will get you bonus rewards in the Celestial Island. On top of that, guys, if you go ahead and spend money this week, there's a ton of bonus rewards here. You've got Prism Starry Gems, you've got yourself Orange Exclusive Artifact Fragments, and on top of that, we've got ourselves Gems, we've got Profit Orbs, and it just depends on how much you're willing to spend. The big stuff here, though, is that there's a flag and 10 treasure coupons for 100 bucks, and if you spend 200 bucks, there's 20 more treasure coupons, along with 100 Master's Toolboxes, and a Mysterious Artifact Selection Chest that contains the Gilded Purple Fan. Now, you might think... This package here is of interest as well. This is giving 10,000 gems, 35 profit orbs, 35 sweet lollipops, 35 bait, which when you combine that with the bait you'll get from gems, and then the four from Heroic Miracle actually takes you straight to 79, so that completes the whole first area without having to use any profit orbs at all, then maybe that is actually exciting to you. You've also got here the Blooming Tequila skin, which is a new Sword Flash skin. Bit weird because Sword Flash already has loads of skins and She's not a very good hero at the moment, so I don't know why anyone would want this skin. It's attack speed and crit damage, which is okay, but there are still plenty of good Sawfly skins out there. You do not need this one. And then on top of that, you get double honey privileges, and you, of course, get the fishing privilege, which lets you use 10 of your fishing baits at once, which makes things quicker if you're doing lots of fishing. However... There is nothing in this event that rewards us for Honey Stars. Normally, the reason to pick up these packages is because the event specifically says you need to spend a certain amount of Honey Stars, and therefore by doubling the number of Honey Stars you get by buying this particular thing times two here, that actually makes it easier for spenders to get a ton of top rewards. This is normally getting a sublimation or other stuff like that because we double the Honey Stars and therefore the progress we make in the event. This event has no such thing. Any amount of Honey Stars gets you zero bait 
at all. So that package is actually, for this event, totally worthless. Unless you really were going to spend on bait in the first place, in which case it's the best value way to pick up bait. But if you didn't have any intention on going at all in this event, then actually, if you're just looking for ways to go ahead and spend $200, best thing you can do is either buy starry gems or buy stuff for the treasure train. That's it. That is going to be the best thing you can possibly do with 200 bucks. So if you're a whale that's thinking about spending maybe just 200 bucks this event, I would not get this package. I think it's totally pointless because there is no reason to double your honey stars. So actually, if you're looking for this event, the thing to do is just go ahead, go fishing in the Dolphin Bay. And if you're a free-to-play player, you might high roll a bunch of Leviathans, in which case, congratulations, you'll get yourself a Core of Origin Shard selection chest, which is going to give you half of what you need to get a Core of Origin. This is fantastic for free-to-play players. It's very rare that you get these as free-to-plays. Now, there's also going to be people out there that go fishing and don't get two Leviathans. It's going to happen. So some spenders may still want to get that pack because then it actually shores up that odds. But if you don't care, you don't care. I would just go ahead and get Starry Gems. On top of that, as I said, there are going to be free-to-play players as well that high roll. There are going to be free-to-play players that low roll. So you're probably asking yourself, should you use your gems? Well, as I've said, I think these rewards down here, combined with all the bonus stuff as well, is really worth it when it comes to the cost efficiency of your gems. If, though, you don't like gambling and you're scared that you're going to take that risk and you're not going to walk away with half a core, or even more so, you might think, actually, I don't want half a core. I want sublimation, so I'm just going to save it. That's totally fine. What's great about this event is there's nothing you're really missing out on. It's just an opportunity to pick up some extra rewards, get a few more resources on your account and spend 20,000 gems in the process and maybe use a ton of profit orbs if you wanted to push yourself even further. But then again, if you use those profit orbs, you won't have any for a future event. And events like this are way more commonplace. Just look at Valentine's Day, the Mecha Raid. Anytime we have a profit orb event, it's basically just like this. Although there's always going to be something about it that says use profit orbs. And in this case, we're getting bait. So if you don't use your profit orbs now, it means you'll still have your profit orbs for a future event where you can use the 20,000 gems plus your profit orbs to get yourself top rewards. So don't feel bad if you miss this event. And I think that's a really good thing that the developers have done is we have an event right here that isn't bad if you miss, but is good if you engage with it. So that's actually great this close to anniversary because there's no hard feelings regardless what you decide and therefore there's no pressure. You just do whatever works for you and your account. And I really do like that. As I said, though, my advice to a free-to-play player, if you've got the 20,000 gems, go ahead and spend it because the resource value alone and the chance to pick up half of a Core of Origin Shard is just worth it. And heck, if you only get one Leviathan, you're still going to walk away with an artifact selection chest by only just using gems to buy stuff that's already fantastic value. So let me know if you're a free-to-play player and you do get lucky this week in the comment section down below and let us know and share it. Maybe you didn't get lucky. Also, maybe share that as well, because it's good that people have a negative perspective as well as a positive perspective, because we're going to get a lot of free-to-play players bragging about the fact they get half a core. And I think it's also really helpful if a lot of you say, actually, I didn't get it. I didn't get any Leviathans at all. And I think that's really healthy for the community. So yeah, hopefully this all makes sense. If you're not quite sure how Heroic Miracle works, it's pretty easy. You just got to do three five stars in the light faction, three five stars in the dark faction, and then five five stars in each of the other the factions and you'll get a ton of extra rewards here it's also going to get you sweet lollipops which can be used in the fantasy factory but as we've already acknowledged how well you do in the fantasy factory this week has nothing to do with your actual progress because for some reason the developers totally forgot to link honey stars to this event which is actually kind of a good thing so make it that what you will. Next week's event is going to be Sky Labyrinth, Gem Chests, and a Wishing Fountain event that gives Fiona as a potential reward. This is probably going to have something else tacked in on it, or maybe it's just going to be a quiet week. I'm not too sure. If you want to know for yourself how good next week's going to be, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to catch my next review for the next event on Friday. Either way, hopefully that's everything you guys need to understand this event. As I said, that big package ain't so good for spenders, and if you're a free-to-play player that gets lucky by using your gems and gets a ton of Leviathans, this event is going to be nuts. But either way, the resources are great, so I still personally think it's worth the investment. See you next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good week, and happy idling.